Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, today we have just, I don't know, just about 11 p.m. in Central Europe and the final in Miami is over. Daniel Medvedev, a winner against uh, Yannick Sinner. Unfortunately, it wasn't as competitive as we hoped it to be. Yannick Sinner not feeling 100%. He even acknowledged that in the trophy ceremony when, where he said, he woke up and he didn't really feel all right. It was even quite visible on court, basically, right from the get-go, uh, right from the start. Even Daniel Medvedev, after the match at the net, acknowledged that and said like something along those lines, like, sorry, Yannick, I clearly could see that you were in 100%. Uh, but still, great tournament from Yannick Sinner. And we have a deserved winner in Daniel Medvedev, even though I will speak later in this video about maybe his a little bit favorable draw, who knows, but uh, the, the fact is that he didn't even have to face uh, a player from the top 10 on his road to the title, so that's it's kind of interesting on your road to the Masters 1000. But still, well played to Daniel Medvedev, a deserved, a deserved winner in Miami. In this video, guys, I just want to be talking about the two finalists and about the final matchup. Uh, but I will do another video probably tomorrow where I will recap the whole tournament, uh, the Miami Open and what takeaways we are taking from this tournament and some of the highlight players, etc., etc. So let's start with uh, Yannick Sinner, the defeated finalist. What a two weeks it has been for Sinner really great he has faced some tough opponents but he has prevailed through most of his matches except for the last one so he started the tournament in the second round of course he got the buy in the first round he defeated laszlo dier the the intriguing uh, serbian uh in straight sets no problem there for yannick sinner in the third round he got difficult opponent grigor dimitrov you never know how dimitrov will be playing how he will feel on the given day but Yannick Sinner really with a good win against Grigor Dimitrov again winning in straight sets 6-3 6-4 in the fourth round in the round of 16 well it has been a tough opponent it has been Andrei Rublev but it has been an easy victory for Yannick Sinner in straight sets two sets to laugh great victory in just over an hour actually hour and 11 minutes all it took to completely dismantle Andrei Rublev, that has been really the standout match of the week for Yannick Sinner. What a performance he put up there. 6-2, 6-4. Colin Fleming, I do believe he was commentating on this match on Tennis TV, and he, sh he said during this match that Yannick Sinner should head down to the Miami Beach and walk on water because he could do no wrong, and it's completely correct in that match. He was completely dominant. Then in the quarterfinals, he was facing mighty Finn Emil Rusuvori, Good win against Rusuvori again, no problem, even with rain delay, victory in straight sets. And then in the semi-final, what a match it was, guys. What a match. Even my friend right here was watching it with me with open eyes. I mean, what a match it was against Alcaraz, free setter. Uh, I live in Central Europe, so it was actually the start time for that match was 1 a.m. my time. But I thought I'm going to watch it, you know, because this match deserves it. I usually don't watch these kind of matches during the night because it kind of disrupts my sleeping schedule. But this time I said, it. you know what, it's Friday, I could watch it. And I watch it till like 4 a.m. What a battle it was. Sinner winning in three sets. Carlos Alcaraz said after the match at the net, go for it, go for it, man. I am cheering for you. But unfortunately for Yannick Sinner, he wasn't at his best today against Daniel Medvedev. If you are not at your best against Daniel Medvedev on hard courts, well, you probably will lose. There is no other option, right? Because Daniel Medvedev is always at his best. It seems so on hard courts, actually, in the last weeks, in the last months. He surely is. So, Yannick Sinner, I think, a lot of positive takeaways from this tournament, but it will hurt a lot. Uh, it will hurt a lot. It is the second time he has reached the final in Miami in three years. The second time he's defeated, he's still waiting for his maiden ATP Masters 1000 title. Who knows, maybe it will come in Miami in the next year. Uh, he, he clearly enjoys playing in Miami, but it was not meant to be. He wasn't 100% sure. What if he was 100% sure? Well, what if? We are not playing for in these kind of, you know, 
uh, circumstances what if what if we can't always make these kind of arguments but again good fight from Yannick Sinner he he lost 5-7 3-6 in straight sets just over hour and a half but he must be happy with his tennis during the past two weeks uh, first win against the world number one defeating Carlos Alcaraz uh, was a standout win also that win against Rublev completely brilliant in that match so a lot of positives from Yannick Sinner as he's heading for the uh, clay season and he is at his career high he will be ranked tomorrow world number nine and oh boy oh boy, oh boy uh, does he deserve that ranking surely he does still only 21 years old still a lot of tennis left to play and I, I have a very very good feeling that he will win one day that Miami title Daniel Medvedev another finalist and our winner for 2023 in Miami his first win in Miami right now Daniel Medvedev it is official he has reached the final in all of the hardcore ATP Masters 1000 all of the hardcore uh, Grand Slams and also at the Nito ATP finals the king of the hard courts in the past couple of years even Novak Djokovic has not won more matches on hard courts and more titles on hard courts than Daniel Medvedev has been a truly special past couple of weeks with victory in Rotterdam in final against Yannick Sinner a victory in Doha victory in Dubai against his good friend Yanni uh, Andre Rublev uh, final in Indian Wells and victory in Miami five straight tournaments five straight finals Masters 1000 victory along on the road in Miami his maiden Miami title boy, boy oh boy is he red hot currently on hard courts but unfortunately for Daniel Medvedev clay season is knocking on the door and as we all know Daniel Medvedev doesn't enjoy playing on clay who knows what happens in a week's time in Monte Carlo maybe Daniel Medvedev will surprise us but definitely it will surprise me if Daniel Medvedev would make even semi-finals in Monte Carlo I think there are other favorites to go um, to go for the trophy but who knows what happens in a week's time what about Daniel Medvedev well I think he has had a quite a favorable draw in this tournament as I have said he didn't have to face a single top 10 player in his run for the trophy he defeated Carbaez Baena in the second round in the third round he got a walkover um, and uh, Alex Molchan didn't show up for the match because of the injury in the fourth round he was facing the Frenchman Halis um, Daniel Medvedev no problem there in straight sets in the quarterfinals again the player out ranked outside of top 100 Christopher Eubanks no problem for Medvedev winning in straight sets and in the semi-finals well it was a hard battle against his very good friend against his old friend against Karin Kachanov in three sets Daniel Medvedev eventually coming out at the top today it was a little bit of a easy win for Daniel Medvedev we might say because Sinner wasn't feeling his 100% Daniel Medvedev winning in straight sets just over hour and half 7-5 6-3 good week good two weeks for Medvedev good couple of weeks for Medvedev when we look at since Rotterdam especially after what happened at the Australian Open a very tough loss in the third round against Sebi Korda since then Daniel Medvedev was able to recover quite spectacularly five straight finals four titles along the way absolutely brilliant from Daniel Medvedev but again as I have said clay season is knocking on the door no good news for Daniel Medvedev this but he will try to do his best what happens in Monte Carlo in a week's time nobody knows but yeah guys so I just want to talk also about the matchup Medvedev Sina I think this matchup as we all know is favoring Daniel Medvedev they have played against each other six times Daniel Medvedev won on all six occasions uh, yeah I think just uh, the game of Sinner really is, is good for Daniel Medvedev to face just those uh, hard ground strokes it really doesn't disrupt Daniel Medvedev it doesn't disrupt his rhythm I think uh, against Carlos Alcaraz that is a lot a lot more tougher matchup for uh, for Daniel Medvedev um, actually if he would face Carlos Alcaraz in this final in Miami I think Daniel Medvedev would lose I don't think I don't know if he could really improve that much uh, from uh, what he did in Indian Wells where he was absolutely dismantled by Carlos Alcaraz 
So, I mean, uh, I think the game of Carlos Alcaraz, the drop shots, the volleys coming to the net, I think that is very, very difficult for Daniel Medvedev to play against. Against Yannick Sinner, Yannick Sinner is basically an attacking baseliner. He usually doesn't come that often to the net, although we have seen him come to the net quite often against Carlos Alcaraz and even today against Daniel Medvedev. He was trying to come to the net a, little, a lot more often, but uh, not quite as often as Carlos, as Carlitos, right? Uh, so again, I think this matchup really suits Daniel Medvedev. And I think he was quite happy to see Anik Sinner battling it out for three hours against uh, Carlos Alcaraz while he was uh, laying down on his bed. Uh, it, was, it was quite late in the night. He even said it in a trophy ceremony that he was already in his bed watching this epic semi-final and Yannick Sinner was still fighting on the court so these um, couple of hours that he got um, to recover when we compare it with Yannick Sinner that also might have helped but I just think overall it was a good good uh, matchup uh, for for Daniel Medvedev and I think he really enjoys playing against Yannick Sinner it even showed today so yeah, that's it. This was uh, just the overview of the final, guys. It has been an enjoyable couple of weeks in Miami, in South Florida. has been a great tournament. I always enjoy Miami. Uh, great, great scenes. Uh, yeah, and, and it has been a great tennis as well. Uh, we have a new champion in Miami. This is Daniel Medvedev for the year 2023. Again, red hot form, but right now it is clay season. And in just a week's time, we'll be heading for Monte Carlo. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you guys again probably tomorrow. I am planning to do a overall review of Miami and look at all of the standout players, standout results, you know, just a more in-depth analysis of uh, Miami. But for today, that's all for today. Of course, a good final. On this Sunday, we have been treated to some good tennis in Miami and eventually it is Daniel Medvedev coming out at the top, defeating Yannick Sinner. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon and have a good one. Bye, guys.